Hello, thanks again for watching. Uh, today I'm just going to do a quick video about the first section of scuba tune-up. Uh, so scuba reviews are really important. Uh, I haven't been diving in a few months and hopefully we'll be going shortly. So I decided to do the first section which is safe dive practices. Um, I'm basically just going to go over all the questions, so then next time I want to do scuba review, I can just watch this video, maybe. Alright, so the first question is, uh, the most important rule in scuba diving is to breathe continuously and never hold your breath. That's the answer. Um, so don't hold your breath, that's bad. Um, especially when you're going ascending or going up towards the surface. Uh, number two, lung overexpansion injuries can result in permanent paralysis, inability to control the body, or death. That's a true or false, and that's a true, it's true for that one. Um, yeah, so don't hold your breath when ascending, otherwise you will get lung overexpansion and possibly die. Uh, when at the surface, make a habit of blank, A, B, or C, so you conserve energy while resting or swimming? The answer is inflating your BCD until you float comfortably. Um, underwater, you normally want to be blank, buoyant, so negatively buoyant, positively buoyant, or neutrally buoyant, or like hovering as it's as it's symboled. Um, yeah, you want to be neutrally buoyant. Duh, five. If you can't equalize your ears as you descend, what do you do? There's A, B, or C. What you're going to do is just ascend for a bit and try again. So this usually happens at the very beginning, within the first five meters or so. Um, so I would say you don't even need to go that far up, like a foot or two. And that should make the pressure different enough that whatever pressure that you have releases a bit and then you can try again if you can't manage to um, equalize you pretty much just you can't do the dive <laughs> or just stay really shallow the whole time if you were able to see and keep an eye on everyone else and um, stay with them usually you just end the dive though uh, six check all the statements that describe accepted techniques for equalizing air spaces so block your nose and blow gently against it exhale sharply into your regulator. That one I've never heard of, but apparently it's true. I don't know. Uh, swallow and... Oh no, that one isn't true. Okay, that's why. It's a trick question. <laughs> swallow and wiggle your jaw from side to side. Yeah, some people do that. I don't, I don't, I don't know, it's weird. Um, and then one that I didn't realize and probably is why I always end up with these mask marks whenever I go diving, but exhale through your nose into your mask because obviously air pressure makes the air more condensed as you go down and that's probably why it's always suctioning to my face. Um, so that's a good one to, to note. Seven, it's important to be reasonably fit for diving. Check all the statements that relate to physical fitness, so dive well within your limitations. Uh, recommended that you complete a physical examination if you're returning after a long layoff, and also recommended to have complete physical examination at least every two years or more frequently. So you need to be physically fit to dive. Um, alcohol and or drugs uh, affect, that minimally, minimally affect you on the surface, um, may impair your judgment at depth. Another concern is that Alcohol consumption may increase your risk for decompression sickness. A lot of that has to do with dehydration. So if you are sort of hungover, probably don't go diving. Or in the very least, um, hydrate yourself. Nine. It may be difficult at times for the boat crew to see a diver some distance away in the water, especially when there are mo moderate waves because of this. A visual surface signaling device and audible signaling device is standard on every stoop scuba kit. Uh, this one I had to check because I had no idea. Uh, unless dictated differently by a local law or regulation, it is highly recommended you stay within 15 meters of your dive flag. So that's 50 feet. Okay, 11. This one was a weird one because it's check all the statements that apply to a proper ascent. 
but pretty much all of them apply. So I just put them in order because I was like, they're in a weird order. So signal to your buddy, agree that you're going to ascend. Yeah, yeah, going up, good. Um, then I guess you're supposed to note the time you start your ascent if you have a dive watch. That's very presumptuous. Um, if you hear boats uh, that may be close, be cautious. That one, yeah, obviously, but yeah, look up. Um, three, uh, ascend no faster than 18 meters, 60 feet per minute. Uh, most people would recommend slower than that, in fact, because that's pretty fast. Um, release expanding air from your BCD. Um, so this one, oh right, I had that one as, yeah, so you're going to add air to your BCD to ascend initially, but then as you go, the air expands, so you're going to want to release it so you don't shoot up really fast. And really, anytime you're going up um, to a more shallower depth, you always want to release some air so that you don't shoot up to the surface un unknowingly. Uh, the last few is hold your right hand over your head, look up and listen, so you're just basically making sure there's nothing there and uh, yeah. When you reach the surface, inflate your BCD so you float comfortably. Yeah, it's good. Um, 12. When swimming underwater, stay streamlined and horizontal, moving slowly and steadily. The other option was maintain upright position with your feet pointed down, which a lot of people do and that's not right. Uh, 13. Check all the factors that may affect how much weight you need. Okay, so fresh water or salt water salt water, exposure suit type and style, physical body characteristics, your weight, height, etc. Um, and then your cylinder and equipment types. Okay, the last two. Number 14, complete the following statements about how to determine proper weighting. Buoyancy check. So I'm just going to read them all out. Um, enter the water with all your equipment on and your estimated weight requirements. Breathe from your regulator. Your BCD should be empty. Holding a normal breath, you should be at eye level. And if not, add or remove weight until, until you do. Um, if, you're, if you have a full cylinder completing the adjustments, add a pound to offset the weights. Uh, check all the statements that apply to avoiding potential problems with aquatic organisms. Basically, don't touch things, don't get too close to things when you don't know where they are. Avoid having shiny, dangly things that they might think is food, and just be careful. There's a lot of other things, but like, I guess, don't, don't mess with the organisms. Alright, so that's that for the safe dive practices. Um, probably gonna do the dive planning fundamentals next and maybe do a video about that. So, scuba tune up. Yeah, I gotta get back to work. So, peace.